Wait lang ah. May, may oras ba, Miss Rona? O kailangan ka umaga? Ah, there is a question. May question siya sa loob. Akala ko one word eh. Okay. So may question siyang bubunutin. Judges, are you going to give them, ano, minutes to answer or okay lang? One hour. Char. Two or three? Yes, three minutes. Two minutes. Okay lang pa. DJ, two minutes lang tayo ha. Na kailangan pag after two minutes, wala nang, ano, microphone. Ready ka na, candidate number eight? Sige, batiin mo muna para patanggal tayo, ano, uh, ka ba? Hello, four. Mataas ba masyado? Baba natin. Okay lang. Okay, so, candidate number eight, bunot ka na sa ating guwapong, ah, May nine, Mike. Kung pagana mo yan. Okay, here's the question. Should drag queens performances not be political? Should drag queens performances not be political? Your timer starts now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, alam po naman lahat ng tao dito ay napanood na po ang tinatawag nating drag race. Ito po ang pagpo-perform na may ginagaya o nagbibigay saya aliw sa mga kabataan. Then now to the question. Kung ang drag queen daw po ba ay isa o hindi po sa isa ba nga sa political. Mga kaibigan, mga ginigilo kong manonood, lagi po natin pakatandaan, ang pag-iisang pag drag race ay nagbibigay aliw sa bawat kabataan na kung saan ating napagbamaskan at napapapanood kung anong ginagawa nila sa intoblado. Ngunit, kung pabalikan mo natin ang kwento ng isang baklang drag race na ginaya ang ating pook na sareno, nakabastos-bastos at nagbigay sa atin na hindi maganda katangian bilang isang Pilipino, napakahirap sapagkat isang part ng LGBT community ang gumayan isa isa, isa, isa pook na sareno na hindi dapat natin gawin sapagkat ito po ay isang pook na sareno na ating sinasamba at ating dapat galangin. Lagi yung natin pakatandaan, ang pagpupolitikal ay hindi po dinatawag natin sa drabis. Bagpus, ito po ay nagbibigay aliw na dapat tama. Hindi dapat sigawin sa masama. Lagi yung natin pakatandaan dito sa ating mundong ginagalawan. Walang taong perfecto. Walang po taong ginagumagawa ng tama. Bagpus, lahat tayo nagkakamali. Ngunit mag natin musgahan ng isang baklang gumaw gumanap ng isang buok na sareno. Bagpus, atin sa niyakapin at tanggapin natin sa lipunan. Alam po natin nagkamali siya. Ngunit lahat mo na pagkakamali ay kaya kaya pa rin itama. Maraming pong salamat. Okay, so bunot ka na. Okay, here's your question. What is your stance about transgender women in the women's beauty pageant? What is your stance about transgender women in the women's beauty pageant? Of course. Hindi po, po, hindi po ako pabor sa pagsali ng mga trans women sa beauty pageant na intended just for women. Bakit po ka mo? Ladies and gentlemen, sa mundong ito, binigyan na po tayo ng espasyo ng ating poong may kapal at maging ng ating lipunan. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I consider myself as a transgender woman, but definitely, but not born real woman. Huwag po nating kuwain ng espasyo ng mga totoong babae. Meron po tayo tinatawag na Miss International Queen na kung saan, doon po natin dapat ipakita kung ano po ang kakayahan natin. Yes po, definitely, Sinasabi ko po na ako po isang transgender woman. 
Ngunit tanag po natin, dapat po nating respeto, respet, respetuhin ang pagkakakilandag ng bawat isa ng espasyo ng Nino Man. Wala pong tinatawag nating gender, even you are a man, women, or part of the LGBTIQ plus community. Lagi po nating tatandaan, bigyan po natin ng espasyo ang bawat isa upang sa gayon ay magkaroon tayo ng mas mapayapang bansa at maging mapayapang mundo. That will be my answer. Good evening. Here's your question. How do you help trans kids and other trans people to build confidence? How do you help trans kids and other trans people to build confidence? Well, it is very essential for the rainbow community to help each other, to be the buttress or the what we so-called support system. The question bound to my shoulder is how do I help trans kids to be confident? simple by showing them how confident I am regardless of my difference regardless of the challenges that I have faced I have bound to be stronger and stronger as I break the battery and the strength of every individual regardless of our strengths and weaknesses we only have one goal and this is to embrace diversity kaya sa mga kapwa ko bakla kailangan nating iwagayway ang ating bandila. Dahil sa dulo ng ating mga karapatan, iisa lamang ang ating ipinaglalaban. In accordance to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we are born with equal, in dignity and rights, embracing the spirit of brotherhood. And in the end, I am the buttress and the support system of the trans children because it is my goal and ambition to help them create their dreams and ambitions. Greening. Describe sexual orientation and gender identity equality bill. Describe sexual orientation and gender identity equality bill. Wow. Thank you so much for the wonderful question. That is what we call Soji Bill. I will describe Soji Bill. Ano nga raw po ba ang tinatawag nating Soji Bill? Marahil sa Kongreso, ito po ay hindi pinapasa. Sapagkat akala po nila, ito lamang po ay protection para sa party ng LGBT community. Ngunit kayo po ay nagkakamali dahil ang Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity Expression Bill ayun po ay ang pagkakaroon ng pantay-pantay na pagtingin na kahit ikaw ay lalaki, kahit ikaw ay babae, or party ng LGBT community ay nasasakop ka sa isang bill or sa isang batas na ito. Kaya sana po humihiling ako sa lahat ng taong gusto sumuporta sa aming party ng LGBT. Hindi lang po ito ay para sa amin. Para po ito sa ating lahat. Because always remember, until we are drinking the same water, breathing the same air, and eating the same food, is still, we are all equal. Thank you. Question, in coming out process of someone, what would be the best thing that you can offer to them? In coming out process of someone, what would be the best thing that you can offer to them? Thank you so much for that wonderful question. I will be direct to the point. When someone comes out, I will tell the best thing in him. Just pray before he do it or she do it because I do always believe that God never left us. God only help us in our daily lives, in any struggles in life. Huwag kang matatakot na ilabas kung ano ang uring meron ka, kung ano man ang pagkatao mo, as long as wala kang tinatatakan tao. Dahil naniniwala ako sa sinabi ko sa aking 30 seconds speech kanina na hindi masama ang maging parte ng LGBTQIA plus community. Kung hindi ka masama, kung wala kang tinatapakan tao at kung hindi ka gagawa ng kung anumang bagay na ikagagalit sa'yo. You know what I do? Always believe in Article 3, Section 1 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. That no man shall be deprived for his person of life, liberty, property, and in perpetuity without the due process of law. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you.
very much. <laughs> okay, so Miss Bahaghari top three. Ya announce ko po ang inyong uh, ranking. So yung top three na lang po ang uh, aakyat dito. <laughs> Thank you very much ating uh, anong tawag dito? Tabulator kay Mrs. Rona Mrs. Rona Mendoza talaga. Kinangatawan ng talaga nila yung Mrs. Dahil. Top, ito ho ang ating uh, top three. Akit po dito sa stage with an average score of 93.3%. Candidate number six, Maha Salvador. Ayan, dito ka na sa kapilang gilid. For the second spot, for the top three, with an average score of 96.2, goes to... Candidate number three, Joss Rebo. The top three, tawagin na po natin with an average score of 97.4. Candidate number two, Karen Montesino. So to candidate number seven, Angela Christian Advincula with an average score of 93% and Heart Evangelista with an average score of 90.2%. So may consolation prize for them, yung dalawa nating candidate. So... Yes, I'm born red. You are born ready. Sige. I'll read the question twice. Tapos pwede ka nang sumagot. Here's your question. Pura Luca Vega was declared. Thank you. Pura Luca Vega. Pura Luca Vega was declared persona non grata in different cities and provinces in the Philippines because of its amanamin performance and desecrating Jesus Christ. Do you think Pura Luca Vega deserves to be persona persona non grata? Saba. Pura Loca Vega was declared persona non grata in different cities and provinces in the Philippines because of its amanamin performance and desecrating Jesus Christ. Do you think Pura Luca Vega deserves to be persona non grata? Go. Thank you for that wonderful question. I believe that Pura Luca Vega does not deserve that. Because you know what? I do always believe that here in the Philippines, we, uh, we all know that Philippines is one of the religious country in the world. And for Pura Luca Vega, I will not, if I were her, if I were him, I will not be feeling alone, feel alone. Why? Because he can talk to God. He can talk to God. He can. Pwede siya mahihingi ang tawag sa Diyos. Dahil ang Diyos ay may mabuting puso at hindi niya tayo pababayaan sa kahit na anuman. Si Pura Luca Vega lamang po ay na, uh, na indicate as persona ng grata sa bawat piling lugar. O lagi niya, isa lamang mensahe ko kay Pura Luca Vega na huwag siyang mawawala ng pag-asa dahil hindi thank you. <laughs> Lang ano, wala lang uh... Okay, here's your question. Basahin ko dalawang beses ha. Here's the final question. Pura Luca Vega was declared persona non grata in different cities and provinces in the Philippines because of its amanamin performance and desecrating Jesus Christ. Do you think Pura Luca Vega deserves to be persona non grata? Pura, Lu Pura Luca Vega was declared persona non grata in different cities and provinces in the Philippines because of its amanamin performance and desecrating Jesus Christ. Do you think Pura Luca Vega deserves to be persona non grata. Go. Well, opinions on this specific situation may vary in terms of our beliefs, culture, and tradition. What I want to highlight, it is very obvious for everyone 
that this is a blasphemous act. When we talk about blasphemy, it is somehow this crushing of God. It is somehow putting your face into a different version of our Almighty Father. Well, in fact, this is very disrespectful in terms of people by which the Philippines is composed of almost 95% of Christian Catholic faith. So therefore, the majority of the Philippine population is very against for this specific action. Therefore, we must always think much better than the way we act. Drag is an art indeed. It is however the performance that we show in every stage or platform. The avenue where we can showcase our ability to change our faces into numerous people in the showbiz or somehow people with dignified icon. But however, we shall not put God in our face because it is very much disrespectful. Lagi po nating iisipin ang kapakanan ng mamamayang Pilipino na sumasamba sa Panginoon na nananalay tayo sa kanilang puso't isipan na ang kagawiang ito ay dapat maging persona non grata. Well, when we talk about persona non grata, this is unwelcomed to a specific place. Well, in fact, there are numerous places in which Pura Luca Vega was proclaimed as persona non grata. So therefore, we should not follow this type of act. I think that drag is an art. It is, however, there must be a limitation when it turns on showcasing our talent in the public of the Filipino people. Pura Luca Vega was declared persona non grata in different cities and provinces in the Philippines because of its amanamin performance and desecrating Jesus Christ. Do you think Pura Luca Vega deserves to be persona non grata? Pura Luca Vega was declared persona non grata in different cities and provinces in the Philippines because of its amanamin performance and desecrating Jesus Christ. Do you think Pura Luca Vega deserves to be persona non grata? Go. There is no time limit. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much for the very timely and relevant question. For me, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to tell she deserved, pero karapat dapat po na pagtusahan niya ang maling bagay na nagawa niya. Bakit? Marahil ang mga ibang kandidata ay sasabihin deserve ng isang tao na parusahan sa iba't ibang lokal or bansa dito sa ating bansang Pilipinas pero bilang isang tao na alam kong nagkakamali ako at alam kong hindi ako perfecto hindi niya po yung deserve pero karapatan niya po na pagdusahan ang maling ginawa niya sa pambabastos sa ating dakilang po ang may kapal bakit? simple lamang po kung nasa harap ko po si Pura Vega isa lamang po ang sasabihin ko sa kanya maaari tayong magpasaya Maari tayong magpahanga pero wag na wag tayong tatapak ng dignidad at pagkatao ng taong lumikha sa atin. Bakit? Dahil kung anong ginagawa mo sa sarili mo, ayun ay para sa iyo. Pero kung ano ang ginawa mo sa ibang tao, ito ay mananatili habang buhay. And always remember, before I leave this beautiful stage, I want to end this with this quotation. Whenever I win or I lose tonight competition, I will never ever bend my understanding for what is right, what is correct, and what is truly acceptable. Thank you. <laughs> With an average score of 87.6% goes to... Candidate number 
36 Maja Salvador French lap ticket ka yeah. okay. So syempre dalawa na dito na tayo sa gitna Yan Our first runner-up will receive 7,000 pesos at ang ating Miss Bahagari will receive 10,000 pesos. Our first runner-up with an average score of 98.2% and the Miss Bahagari 2023 with an average score of 98.4%. Two points lang. Maliit lang. And the first runner-up goes to... So our first one to be awarded by Floyd and Brad. Sige, Brad. Picture tayo, Floyd, Brad, Chairman. Sama ka na pa. Bahagari 2023, walang iba! Kundi si Ms. Karen Montesilio! To be awarded by SK Chairman Joy Diaz, Giselle, and Kapitan Imo Bigula together with the SK Council. Okay, complete the judges natin. Okay. One, two, three, smile. <laughs> Thank you. 